They were bringing it out of the Delta. And so I'd been there once before down in the uh, Helena, uh, King Bissy, flower hour down there. And uh, he, he took me down there to see if uh, I could sell my soul to the devil and make me a better guitar player. <laughs> But he didn't tell me that until we got down there. And he brought me up to this little Pentecostal church in the middle of a cotton field. There was nothing there. No one. He stayed in the car. And he said, they're going to go up to that church. I went up to the church. I went up to the church. Oh, did you? You're going to go up to the church. He said, you're going to make up your mind what you're going to do. Or, or the program stops here. Yes. You know? So he said it just like that. So the program stops here. You'll be off the project. So I walked up to the church and I see all these like, Local, like these flyers are all pinned on to the door. There's nobody around. And, uh, you know, I'm looking around. It's in the middle of a field. It's just nothing for anywhere. Uh, miles and miles, you know. And there are these, you know, flyers of these great gospel groups. You know, I'm looking at this and going, what's the meaning of oh, What's this guy doing to me? And he says, okay, have you made up your mind? Are we going to continue or are going to stop right here? And I said, okay, Ted, let's just continue. Next thing you know, he brings me up to this. We, we get back in the car, we drive, uh, you know, maybe a mile and a half, you know, or, or, or around the, the cotton fields, and we pull up to this old shack with these really weird curtains in it. I couldn't believe it. just, you got to get out here and you got to knock on that door. Well, I, 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 that's where I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I stopped right there and realized, well, I'm just not the material to sell his soul to the devil. I really don't know what he'd do with it anyway. <laughs> And uh, I said, he said, well, I'm really disappointed in you. But really, you know, what's well, all this way? I figured, you know, you were going to up your game. was going to get you really in the mix. You could really start playing. But I see you're not going to do it. All I could imagine was some old lady behind that door with a shotgun. And that's all she wrote. And, uh, you know, it would be an embarrassing thing to tell my wife. Or you have to I tell her. <laughs> I, I, so I couldn't do it. The whole, I just couldn't. I couldn't live up to the level. Or even worse, what, what if the devil was there and he he gave us like five bucks for it? <laughs> five bucks. I don't want it. Five bucks. I got plenty. I got a lot. Can't use it. How about a little wheel? You guys want to play along? You're more than welcome to. Yes, please. Johnny Hooker. Somebody used to come into this little place we had a residency in. Residency, it sounds like you're a doctor, you know what I'm saying? Residency in Philadelphia. We heard. And uh, he used to yell at me to do this song. And I said, oh, I'm going to learn it. Finally came in, he said, you always start this song so slow. I'm old. <laughs> We're father and son, in case you had no Finally shaved me to learn this song. So, Dolly Hook.
I actually got in tune by the last chorus there. <laughs> got through that one on there.